I was just a wicked sinner working in bars, smoking crack, and I got on my knees next to my father's Bible, cried out for salvation, and Jesus changed my life. He said that he'll take your old heart out and put a new heart in. He says, I make all things new. Okay, good. New, and good for new, you. I'm, new. I'm really glad that you found happiness with Jesus. I didn't find, I'm the one lost. You're the one lost. But I, We're all lost. He comes looking for the sure. lost. But He's what if, looking for you tonight. But if I, if I believe in Jesus, but I still have sex with men, what, like, you know? Well, if, if you believe in Jesus, give your heart to Jesus, I can promise you he'll change uh, your heart and your desires. Have a, can I pray for you? Please do. Right now, right now. I have a, be a friend. God, I'm I right. pray. Is your name Kevin? Do you know somebody yes. named? Your name is Kevin? Yes, that was a word of knowledge. Wow. Now, how did I know that? God. That's the Holy Spirit. I'm serious. The Holy Spirit said, say Kevin. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus, Kevin. I feel the fire. You feel that? Yep. I pray for the love of God to rescue your heart and I pray that you'll be saved and you'll fall so in love with Jesus and you'll know his goodness and kindness. I really do pray that you'll be Thank saved. You. you have a really good time. Praise God. Praise God. Wow, that was a word of knowledge. People, only God could have told me his name was Kevin. I've never met that man in my life. That's a word of knowledge. Because the Bible says all fornicators will go to hell. That's why premarital sex, first thing on Brad's sign, people. Because it's all nonsense and fairy tales. First Corinthians 6 9. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. First one. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. Premarital sex is a sin. Do you have to speak like that in front of children? Doesn't God say? I didn't. I didn't no, doesn't God tell God them say. to come here. Does not God say? Why are you yelling in front of them? In front of uh, children. Why are you acting like a gangster in front of your children? Why well, you act like you're about to whoop the preacher? Well, I didn't ask you to bring them to church either. You're the one that showed up for the church service. Okay, then you keep MTV off the TV. Keep Disney off your TV. Don't let them listen to Elton John sing Lion King. Jesus loves the little children. I sang that earlier, ma'am. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, ma'am. No. No, they're not. You're wrong. You're wrong. The Bible says you're either a child of God or a child of the devil. Where's this page at? What page? I want to go. I've got a Bible in my room. First John chapter three. What page? First John <laughs> chapter that three. What page? It's, it's different in every Bible. So oh, okay, I'm not. Oh, I thought you were a Christian. You don't even know that. Oh, sorry, I don't read the Bible. Well, you're not a Christian. Christians you know read the Bible. But I've baptized Greek Orthodox. Basically, basically because, because you get the Greeks Greek. smoke a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> Every time I go to Greece, man, I gotta walk through all the the trails of cigarette smokes. The pennies mightier than the sword. Jesus would not give you cigarettes as a gift. Jesus doesn't give you anything. Jesus give me plane tickets around the world. Yes, he does. And Jesus gives you sunsets. Jesus gives you sunrises. Jesus gives you the ocean. God created the heavens and the earth. I'm a holy woman of God. You know what's sad about you? Is that... All you know how to say 
is gutter garbage. You're a fucking you have boy. nothing intelligent to say. Uh, you'll say if she's intelligent, you fucking dumb bitch. Have some acid test in your life. There's no way that you could possibly hold a job with the kind of uh, knowledge that you carry. Do you have a job? Do you have a job? Well, proved my point. Proved my point. Nobody's going to hire somebody like you. Jesus Christ calls all men and women everywhere to repent. The gospel is this. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. The payment for sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of the world. He was buried and God raised him from the dead three days later. He was seen by about 500 people according to the scriptures. What must I do to be saved? Repent, believe the gospel. What color is Jesus Christ? He's a Jew. Well, Hitler's grandchild, of course, would cur curse a Jew. Of course, of course, Hitler. He killed all those Jews. You would fit in great in uh, Germany. Is your mother proud of you? No, seriously. Is your mother proud of you? Does your mother say, son, come see me? I want to wash your clothes. You're a great son. I bet she doesn't. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, potty mouth. God bless you. It won't be long before the mark of the beast comes out. People are going to take the mark of the beast in their right hand, their forehead. Can't buy or sell without it. It's not good to take it. We're living in the last days, people. The last days, the Bible says people would be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. People hate God. The book of Romans talks about people inventing new ways of doing evil. There's not enough people like me, so I disagree. There's not enough people like me. The, 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 the man on the other side of Jesus' cross, oh, he wanted to be saved. He wanted to be remembered in paradise. And Jesus said, I will remember you. Never walked a righteous step in his life. But there he was in the final breath. One mocking Jesus, the other repenting of Jesus. Are you going to be a God mocker? Or are you going to follow Jesus Christ? You don't know when you're going to die. You didn't know when you were going to be born. The Bible declares today is the day of salvation. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall 
be saved? Do you want to be saved? Hey, I meet people all the time. They don't want to be saved. They think hell's going to be one big party because their favorite rock and roll band is going to be there. Oh, there's not going to be a party. There'll be outer, complete darkness where the worm dies not. It's your choice. If you want to go to hell, you can. There'll be a lot of people in church going to hell because they never had a relationship with Jesus. They had a relationship with the church. Maybe had a relationship with their pastor, our vicar, our priest. But God is asking you, do you know him? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Are your sins forgiven?
is a holy place. There's not going to be many religions in heaven. There's going to be one God in heaven on the throne. It's the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. God in the flesh. The Word of God became flesh. Jesus Christ is God. I know you don't think He is, but I know what I'm talking about. Repent, old man. God has been patient with you. God knows how much money you've spent on sin. And He offers you forgiveness tonight. That's why God parked you right there, sir. So you can be confronted tonight. You can die today, bird flipper, God mocker. You deserve hell. But it's God's grace He calls out to you to repent tonight, sinner. Turn to Jesus Christ or you're going to burn in hell. God is your only hope, sir. God is your only hope. Your mother could have been a godly woman, but God knows you're not. And the only way for you to be forgiven in your name, written in the last book of life, is for you to repent. You repent. God is sick of your sin. There are some people God gets really angry at, and according to the Bible, He said He's angry with the wicked every day. And that would be you. That would be you, sir. God is angry with the wicked every day. God doesn't take a day off from being upset with the sins of the world. Jesus Christ paid a high price dying on the cross to demonstrate the love of God. That's right. God hates sin. Sin is what nailed Jesus to the cross. Here is a sunrise from Oslo, Norway. Hey, I can't believe I'm here. There we go. I can't believe I'm here. It's very cold in Thailand just yesterday. And before that, in Australia, New Zealand, heading to Finland in a few hours. And then going to... Uh, Take a boat to Russia forever. But the person I was going to stay with in Finland uh, had a feeling of sick. And I'm like, oh man, I wonder if I can take that Russian cruise I took last year and go it's preach in Russia again. Without a visa, and it was like, yeah. It's $93. $93 for two days on a boat. And you get there and you get your bus ticket. Uh, around St. Petersburg. I'm going to rush you anyway, I'm staying here for uh, $59. And the owner is in uh, Copenhagen. And so I got a little note from the owner saying, hey, you're, you can enjoy the whole penthouse to yourself because I'm in Copenhagen. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> You know, they almost didn't even let me in Norway yesterday. I'm not joking. They asked how much money I had, and I thought I only had 150 American dollars. I'm like, yeah. That's about what I had. It was actually 200. There's the snow. Beautiful church. So, yeah, I got this whole place for $59. And uh, beautiful Oslo. So it was real easy to find, and what in the world is that? I guess they set that on fire, huh? Okay, so I love spiral steps. Spiral steps are like my favorite steps. I think that's what that is. Here's the kitchen. I'll show you the view one more time. It's so cool. I sat here last night and I uh, did some work on my computer. And then, this is the room that I ran. I'm already got my stuff by the door, so I'm ready to go. 
this is where I slept. And I've got a new video program now and upgraded to Windows 10 and have a new uh, video. So, and uh, Tony and his family held some of my winter clothes for me while I was gone. Uh, yeah, so that's part of the reason I went back to Bangkok was to run into them and get my stuff and I had no idea I was going to end up preaching in Bangkok. This is so beautiful though, isn't it? So yeah, it was a good deal. It was a real good deal. Praise God that the Lord let me have it all to myself. That's cool. Thank you, Chief. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the light. Repent. Go, go, go. Repent. Repent. Oh, peaceful, huh? Where's your peace? I find you, devil, in the name of Jesus. Full of the devil. You should repent. You should repent. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. You're making God and wants to sing, but the Bible says, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Lady Gaga doesn't praise God. He's not praising God. Molly the twerking Cyrus doesn't. Oh, my God. 
making the world darker and darker. Calm down. No, I can't calm down. You know why? Because you're headed for hell. Does that concern you? The most important decision you will ever make is, do I want to marry Jesus? Or do I want to reject Jesus?